Hey everybody, I've really got to stop doing these impulsive additions to my tank. Yesterday I went out to my uh, minnow trap that I had set out at my little local stream down the street in hopes of catching some rosy side dace which are very beautiful fish with a really stunning red stripe down their side giving them their name. And what I found in my minnow trap was a strange looking fish that I couldn't identify, but it was really interesting looking. It had a really sort of pearly sort of sheen and iridescence to it. And its tail had a little bit of red coloration to it. Its dorsal fin had a little bit of that sort of reddish orange color in it. And I thought it was a really pretty fish and decided it was small enough that, you know, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal to put in this tank. And so I brought it home, I put it in here and I had one viewer suggest that it was a fish called a red horse sucker and I looked them up and it really looked a lot like it but at the same time after I had put it in the tank it didn't really look quite the same as it did before I put it in the tank that pearly sheen was gone there was a dark brown stripe right down its side, bold as brass that I had never noticed when I was out, you know, down at the stream and put it in my little bucket to bring it home. And suddenly it was starting to look a lot more familiar. Um, I still thought that it could possibly have been the red horse sucker fish, but I wanted to give it a little more time and have a look at it a little more closely. And I'm hoping it comes out and makes an appearance. It just darted into the back when I eased the net into the tank because I'm now trying to get it out of the tank. It turns out that it's it's a chub. It's just it's nothing more than a creek chub. I've already seen it in there, like taking shots at the guppies. The guppies are already uh, wary of it. Whenever it would swim around, the guppies would all sort of give it some space. And again, I did see it take sort of a little half-assed kind of shot at a guppy or two, like it was trying to get them, but not really that enthusiastically. And it's not that big yet, but it is a creek chub. So we know how big they get, and we know that there is no way it's staying in this tank. It won't be too long before my molly gets eaten by it, uh, let alone all those guppies. So I wish I'd gotten it on video here a little bit. I think I'm just going to scoop it out and throw it into my native tank. Um, it's small enough that it might become food itself, but it's large enough that it may survive. And then it would just simply be another... Uh, creek chub in my native tank and if you're not familiar with my native tank that is back here and this has already got loads of creek chubs so this is what I'm talking about right here this is a creek chub you see how it's got that sort of gray stripe down its side that dark stripe down its side uh, there's another one right there with that sort of blunt nose and downward turned mouth if it's not one of those, then I don't know what it is, because when I saw it this morning, a little bit ago, in fact, let's see if we can see it from the back side of the tank, hiding in here somewhere. It's probably going to be down in the rocks laying low uh, for quite a while. I don't even see it, so it's really, I thought maybe it might just be sort of swimming around back here, but I don't see it at all, so it's probably down between the rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave the net sitting there where it was and hopefully over time it will just get accustomed to the net being there and if I look over and I notice it's kind of swam in front of it or swam into it even, I can go ahead and scoop it out. There it is. You see its little face sticking out from behind the uh, filter. Not the white fish up front, but just that little nub sticking out. That is actually the face of the fish in question. So he's hiding behind that filter. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to really see him from this angle either. But I am almost positive it is nothing more than a common creek chub. And if it's not, then it's something really similar, and it's something that's already showing signs of wanting to make a snack out of my guppies. See, the guppies have no problem swimming in and out of there. I could scoop them out by the handful. So, I guess that's going to be that... Uh, uh, the I guess that's going to be that for this video is what I was trying to say that'll be the end of this video um, I will 
I don't know. We'll see what I do with it. If I just grab it and throw it in my native tank, there's no point shooting any video of that. It's a rainy day, so I don't know if I'm going to take it uh, down the street and release it where I got it. If I did, I probably won't make any video out of that either. So we'll just wait and see. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you'll see whatever it is we're going to do with this tank. But I definitely still plan on adding more fish to this tank, whether it's just some more colorful guppies I get at the PetSmart uh, or it is some of those rosy side dace. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see but this is my waterfall tank and of course if you're subscribed uh, you won't miss any of the updates on this tank or anything else we've got some daylilies that are getting ready to bloom pretty soon we're already starting to get some color and thickness in this one uh, this one's not far behind it it's a smaller one but it is getting there uh, we're even starting to see a little bit of swelling and color developing in this bunch down here so again if you're subscribed you won't miss any of that or anything else we got going on. So I guess he's not going to come out. And I'll say thanks once again for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.